Hi. So here's the situation. I have nothing to do today. Well, okay, we won't talk about that. But I saw this video on Twitter yesterday. And needless to say, I laughed so hard when I saw it. Like, I don't think I've ever laughed any harder than that. I showed it to my mom. We both laughed too much. Like, this video was the best video ever made. It takes a cake without even trying. Regardless, we're gonna do that today. We're gonna see if this whole elastic around the watermelon business actually works out. This is how I'm spending my day off. This is what I'm doing. And frankly, I don't think I could come up with a better use of my time. Buckle in, enjoy the ride because this is gonna be a long one. I mean, like, let's be honest here, okay? I do stupid stuff stuff all the time. A little too much for my safety. Like, when I saw that video, I kind of forgot the fact that my dad spent two weeks repainting all the walls in the house. Um, sorry dad if you're watching this. Also, this watermelon is like pretty pathetically tiny. That's because it's winter here in Canada, aka nothing grows on the ground because everything is frozen season. So I'm gonna have to deal with this pathetic little watermelon situation. My biggest fear is that this doesn't work. The watermelon doesn't explode. It's just like a dinky little if you know what I mean. And if that's the case, I'm just scared that we're gonna have to resort to more serious violent measures, if you know what I mean. I feel like I'm popping the world's biggest pimple. Ugh, it's been so long since I've put out makeup products, you know? My lipsticks, they shook the internet. And after I had a little accident with insulation, I mean my ceiling collapsed, I had to move to a $10,000 per night mansion in the middle of LA where I was super close to all the YouTube booty gurus who would just eat up my ass if it meant that they would get on my PR list. After all, I'm doing this for you, you know, as a way for you to give me more money. Can we talk about the new Tesla Cybertruck? What on earth is that thing? I love it. <laughs> I want one. That is the hardest thing I think I've ever seen. I woke up to that on Twitter. I showed my entire family, okay? And listen, I'm not big on cars. Never have been, probably never will be. To me, cargo beat beat. But listen, that thing, that looks like a transformer, okay? Like, I wholeheartedly expect to just be driving around in that thing and for the car to get up at some point and beat up the other cars. That is within the realm of possibilities, okay? You can't tell me otherwise. This is the visual representation of 18th century women putting on corsets. Maybe I should take this out of this bowl because when it explodes, I don't want to just be impaled by glass. I'm sweating so much. Oh my God, okay. Oh, look at that bulge there. Wow, okay, she's thick. Can you stand please? Like you have one job here and that's to explode. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm putting it back in the glass bowl because this thing is not cooperating. I wonder if this is what they're doing at Area 51. Why am I spending my Tuesday afternoon doing this? I bought 600 elastic bands for this. You know what, this is coming off, like I'm sweating too much. I was raised out of a puddle of radioactive mush. I clawed my way out of the sewers, faced adversity at every turn. I killed many a monster and some men, but we won't talk about that. Oh, this is a tight one. Hmm, that didn't sound right. It's working. I'm gonna get a little bit political here, so just brace yourselves. Um, what the heck is happening in America? No, really, like, what's happening? I turned on the TV and CNN was on and they were somewhere and they were like asking questions. Where even are they? Are they in the White House? Like, are they on this earth? Are they in someone's basement? Ask, I don't know what's happening. Honestly though, politics is like too complicated for me. Like, what's a subpoena? No, really, like, what is that? It sounds like a disease. There's too many vowels. Like, I searched up the spelling of it last night. The, who allowed that to happen? That's not okay. I know we like to be extra with English sometimes, but where did those vowels come from? And don't you dare ask me about American politics because I'm Canadian, okay? Don't get me involved in your mess. Oh, so she, okay, so she's really bulging at the bottom now. Look at that. She's about to give birth. Is she gonna need an epidural? I don't know, up to her. Actually, I've been watching pregnancy vlogs on YouTube a lot lately. 
Don't ask why. The more I watch of them, the more terrified I get of sex. You know, adoption looks really good right about now. How I haven't broken a nail so far, I don't know and don't ask me. By the way, I'm wearing Christine's new holidays collection on my nails. I saw it on my Twitter feed the other day. I almost had a heart attack. It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Was this watermelon abuse? Like, is PETA gonna arrest me for this? Maybe this is how Kim Kardashian got her hourglass body. <laughs> Oh, you know what I didn't see this weekend? The new Charlie's Angels movie. Elizabeth, what are you doing, sweetheart? Like, just let that horse die, okay? How many remakes of that franchise has there been? Like, 80? Oh my god, it's starting to leak. What the heck? Okay, uh, I'm gonna put this far away. I should keep this far from my head, too. Perfect, okay. Uh, I don't trust that. So how was your day? I don't care. She's starting to get stress marks, if you know what I mean. Yesterday, I went out for a run, and I saw a fox. It didn't attack me, unfortunately, but it was eating someone's garbage. I mean, relatable. This is a really bad idea. <laughs> like, I could get seriously hurt. I'll just write it off as a business expense. <laughs> okay, you know what? These aren't cutting it. That's better. I'm getting claustrophobic just looking at this. Jesus Christ, what have I done? <laughs> chemistry midterm tomorrow. Eh. People often ask me, Joanna, will you ever start making TikToks? No! You know, everyone goes on about how TikTok made them feel like Vine. TikTok is so great. TikTok this, TikTok that, TikTok left and right. I don't want to hear about it, okay? It never has made me feel like Vine, and it never will make me feel like Vine. And if you're telling yourself otherwise, you're lying to yourself. Yes, I am salty that Vine just disappeared, okay? I'll never forgive Twitter for that. Fine, I'll admit it. Maybe I was a little bit harsh on TikTok right there, okay? Jeez, get off my butt. They're sort of funny. I'll give it to them. You know what I can't wait to do? Eat this watermelon when it explodes. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, what? spending this time with me. This is it. This is what happened. This is how I spent my day. Surprisingly, I've only been filming for about an hour and uh, that was really quick. There's like a bunch of watermelon gunk everywhere now. I mean, isn't that just so hot? Like, whoa. That is one of the top 10 hottest things I've ever seen. Ew. Ew. Mm -mm. Why is it all soggy and stuff? That's gross. What the heck? I didn't pay for that. It's like soggy spaghetti. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you had fun. I hope that this tickled your pickle. Eh, it's not that bad. Hey dudes, so just one last thing before I go. Remember how I said that I saw a fox on one of my runs? Well, two days later, when I went out for a run again, I passed by that same spot and I swear on my left toe, that thing was sitting there again. And guess what? It just watched me pass by. I know the whole situation probably sounds stupid and you probably don't believe me, but when you're six kilometers in and you feel like you're gonna pass out, that whole fox sighting honestly felt like a sign from the gods that yes, the world is going to end in two months and you have to buy the new Tesla Cybertruck if you're going to survive the apocalypse, Joanna. Okay, you know what? That's enough of my Cybertruck propaganda. Number two. So I'm hungry constantly. It's a problem. We've been new. So it was on that day that I set out to try to make an avocado mug cake. I know it's quite an ambitious task and the name alone should make you run for the woods, but guess what? I will eat anything, and we all know that I love avocados a little too much, so if there's anyone who's gonna eat this, it's probably gonna be me. Unfortunately, Google failed me, so I had to kind of science project the hell out of this on my own. I know no one is asking for the recipe, so here it is. Two tablespoons of fully mashed avocado, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one and a half tablespoons of granulated white sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, 1.25 tablespoons of milk, and a quarter tablespoon of vegetable 
vegetable oil. How did it turn out? Disgusting, of course. Apart from the fact that it literally tasted like piss, I had microwaved the thing for two minutes and it came out like a literal rock. Don't make this. Save your avocados for your tortillas or something. This was an abomination that should have never happened and I mean that. It tastes like what you would expect rubber to taste like. Avocados, sweetie, I'm so sorry. I mean, I'm still gonna eat it, but I'm never gonna do this again. My insides are on fire. Ew. Why? No, I need to stop this. Okay, so that's it. Hope you had fun. I love you so much. Stay spunky, stay funky, and stay spicy. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodles, my dudes.